Volunteers across the world are reaching out to Russian citizens online and by phone, trying to break through the iron curtain of Russian misinformation when it comes to the war in Ukraine. CBS's Roxana Saberi reports tonight from London. They know that we are dangerous. This cybersecurity expert says he's hiding his identity because the website he helped set up to reach random people in Russia angers the Kremlin. He says people around the world have clicked on it around 60 million times, sending pre-drafted messages about the war in Ukraine, like Putin is attacking cities and helpless people, he's lying, and women, children and the elderly are dying. We have published the tool to start the dialogue. Why is it needed? People in Russia, they cannot obtain the truth about the war in Ukraine. In Russia, the government has essentially criminalized the spread of information opposing its own narrative on the war. Most independent media, like TV Rain, have shut down. And Twitter and Facebook are blocked. Tomas is trying to crack that wall of censorship from his office in Lithuania using another website, Call Russia. It randomly generates 40 million numbers inside Russia, so volunteers like him can make calls. He asks, what do you think about the war in Ukraine? The man answers, I don't see anything good in it. Paula Sinuta, who helped launch the site, tells this woman Russian bombs are killing Ukrainian civilians. She replies, I agree that people should not be dying. But unfortunately, it seems there was no opportunity to solve this peacefully. Most of people don't want to learn the truth, but people still are humans. You know, no one is OK with massive uh, amounts of people dying. So you're trying to appeal to their humanity? Absolutely. These campaigners say they'll keep reaching out to Russians to share the realities of the war in the hope that eventually they'll help end it. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, London.